Media is a big thing, and marketing is a big thing when you're an artist and you got music coming out. It's a big thing to be, when you go to platforms, to be able to talk about your music, talk about who you is, be able to tell your story and humanize yourself instead of you being clickbait and a motherfucker trying to make you look like a goofy. No, right. for real. Because they, the, they can't relate to your world and to, they don't understand that yesterday is the fuck on, and it's important to make sure your rollout and when you come out first that that shit is right. Like, I'm going to be straight up. Uh, it's probably... You know, some don't even make it to him. Some some make it to our people that they handle shit for us. Probably like 40 a month. No, it's like 40 no's a month and people that's trying to get on here mm. because we're not taking anybody. And when you decide, like artists got to understand, if you're doing your press run, we don't do press runs. We do exclusive shit. So if you're doing a press run running around New York, you won't make it here. Yeah. Majority of times, we don't want you. Because you're doing all, and we, we want exclusive, we want real conversation. We don't want you to be running the five interviews. You got the same shit on at every fucking interview. Man, I did a press run in New York one time. They made me have an album release with Paul Wall, and I'm, I'm like, man, I ain't doing this shit no more. Shit over with. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, you know what I mean? Shout out to Paul Wall. And yeah, shout out, no, no disrespect to him. Shout out to everybody. It ain't no, disrespect sure, but it's like, God, but it's different. It's di I understand what you're saying. <laughs> you want your own shit. I ain't going back. It's you want your own shit. Real. You want your own shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I ain't know though. I ain't know what was, you know what I'm saying? It was, mm -hmm. I crazy. hate to even switch it, but that shit fucked me up. I was doing a promo. And they had me open uh, out release with Paul Wall with the This Is 50 nigga made me do some. I'm like, man, this shit crazy, man. I'm straight. I ain't doing no more interview. At the, at the end of the day, I think it's really important to who's doing your PR because a lot of them motherfuckers. That's what it was. They be too. out of touch with the reality. And I, I tell the labels this all the time. They call me. They well, parking we, in the money doing what they, you know what I'm shit. saying? The label ain't there looking, so they doing anything. Yeah, hey, we going to throw them out release Paul Wall. Can we put baby face around your flyer? Take the money. You know what I'm saying? I'm already knowing what's going on. I mean, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of times, like I said, it'd be a PR people. And I tell them all the time from labor, they call me, well, we need, no, you don't need them. You took them to five different joints. We ain't no fucking, this ain't that type of joint. We ain't, we don't make the moves that we fucking make running around doing all this jumping it. You're not coming here with all that. You you, you told a story already on three, four dawns. You, the same shit. Oh, but it's different. No, 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 no. This is a boutique stop. If it's not boutique, you're not coming here. We don't give a fuck who you think you are. That's a million dollars worth Sometimes of Sometimes nigga want to come just to say they came. Like, bro, I was They want to come to get the get, to get that stamp. No, for sure. You know what I mean? And we not going for that, especially not him. You already know what he on. I ain't even got to speak on it. He don't give a fuck about I mean, nothing. So, you know, it's just, it is not. So, the artists, artists, talk to your PR. <laughs> That's what I give a fuck about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that motherfucker don't stop even. <laughs> Yeah, our boy's getting a lot of it right now, too. She be like a helicopter. You know what I mean? She them wires come through. These, this, this, I see this real niggas money, hugging in the, in the kitchen with the champagne. This I'm saying, yeah, this like. shit on. Listen, man. We yeah. work hard, man. You no, know for sure. Man? Every but, time but I scroll on your page, our boy's in the airport doing something. But, so. but yeah, the best part about us, we don't leave with money. You know what I mean? Yeah, we, we don't. don't, don't flash that. We, we, leave, we leave with respect. You know what I mean? We show respect to everybody. We show love to everybody. You know what I mean? And they show love back, and we, we truly appreciate it. We represent the bottom of this shit. You feel me? The yeah. bottom of this shit. The very bottom. And that's why we got, you know, we just happy to have dudes like you now. Right. Now, who is it? Some real shit that you like, damn, I fuck with them. Man, I, I want to get it in with Sometimes them. when I be a fan of nigga music, I don't even be wondering where. I just want to be a fan because it's like, I don't know how to. But it be mostly producers, for real. Like niggas who got hard beats. And shit, if you are, you already know. Hell yeah, I want to leave. But I don't got no specific person. I just want to, you know. Just listen to that. Was some my, real my fans kind of like fucked that up for me. I be doing shit with collab artists, and then they be like, why you, you know what I'm saying? So I just be just letting shit flow naturally. If I bump into you and we rocking, let's get it on. But I ain't about to, you know what I'm saying? You know what's crazy? When you go to the ground, when you shit out, majority of the, I'm talking about, majority of women be banging your shit no like cap. crazy. I'm talking about, and they stories, like crazy. you're a story killer. Babyface Ray is one of the story if killers If I be posting my shit up. Mm. It'll be, and them stories, they putting their makeup on, they at the restaurant, they walking in the mirror. I'm like, your joint is like a soundtrack to all the baddies. They want me to do a damn near all girl shit, you know what I'm saying? But You need I, to do an all girl show in one of these cities. No, nah, hell no. Nah. They want me to do like some all girl music, just a, a tape for all the ladies type shit. A whole tape? Yeah. But I appreciate that shit. Dude. I don't know. I think they just fuck with a nigga because, you know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. you're not extra. Yeah. 
Now they, they, you remember I told you when I was coming up and I was urban, niggas be extra with that shit. And yeah. that shit a funny feeling. It, you would piss a girl off doing all that lame shit. so extra. Look at this He's just nigga. chilling. Look at this cool uh, nigga. What's up, man? How you doing, baby? Yeah. You know, I'm baby face Ray. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Wallow, ass too, ass man. <laughs> I, I, I had a conversation with baby face. Oh, Why yeah, baby face. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah you nigga called me at 5 in the morning talking about, you coming on the show and y'all had to. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, no, nah, bro, I don't know. You feel me? I called him. But I'm you like, said yeah. something on the... And then we ended up having a conversation. That shit was lit. Yeah, could you remember I tell you? I said, yo, yeah. man. I said, cuz, we got Babyface Ray coming to the studio, right? What did he? I don't know. I don't know until the fucking morning. Oh. Like, like, he coming 10 o'clock, like 10 o'clock to our studio. Philly. I don't know until that morning of that I'm like, hold up. Cuz. I said, this fuck Babyface. I'm like... I said, I said, Ray, oh, man, we, I called, no, I called him, I called Ray, I said, yo, where you 